Well, here we are on YouTube. Ryan, how are you today? <laughs> Great, Nathan. How you doing? Nathan, what do we got? Oh, is this me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nathan, this is what we have. You ready? Yeah, what are we at? You ever heard of Fleetwood Mac? Yes, I have. Have you ever heard of the song? You can go your own way. This was my graduation song. Oh, mine was Imagine with John Lennon. Ugh. That's not that bad. Uh, it's horrible. Did we sang it as a <clears throat> we sang it as a graduating class? Like I graduated different school than you because you moved away in our senior year. Carry on. <laughs> yes. See, in that school, got the chance to make a recommendation, and the one that I wanted was "Are You Going to Go My Way" by Lenny Kravitz. And quite a few people in the school that I was at actually were like, "Yeah, that's a good song." It came down to like almost a split vote: this song over "Are You Going to Go My Way." So the choice was like, to go my way or you can go, go your, your own, own way. way. All right. When that happened, like I didn't know Fleetwood Mac at all. Like not at all. Oh. Okay. Long story short, years later, I actually really like the song. Oh, it's a great um, song. So people are but, saying, well, why are you listening to it? I believe it's probably a live performance. And, and we've done a few big, <laughs> big Mac songs. <laughs> Oh. Did you say Big Wood Mac? <laughs> no, I said Big Mac. I thought I, I, Big Mac came out. <laughs> we've done a couple of Big Mac songs. All right. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -ba -ba. Ba -da. I'm loving it. Okay. So we've done a couple of Fleetwood Mac songs. What we've said regarding the ones that are the big ones, the ones that we do know because of radio play and, and what have you, is if people want us to react to those songs like this one, give us mm -hmm. a live performance, which I know we have not seen any live performances of their big songs. And so this is what I would like to see. So I think this is what we're seeing. This is from our favorite adopted Disney princess, Anastasia, who says, this song was written back in the 70s, around the same time as the last one you did by them that I requested, Silver Springs. Oh, that was a good one. Mm. It was written and sung by Lindsey Buckingham about his breakup with Stevie. Ooh, mm. okay. According to him, he wanted to get married, settle down. Well, she just wanted to continue to shack up. I'm sure that, that's all it came down to. That's ex <laughs> that sure wasn't any more complicated than well, that. Well, the idea mm. probably is she wasn't ready to settle down. She was ready. She just right. still wanted to she still wanted to have a variety of penises and then <laughs> Not just one. <laughs> oh, man. A Anastasia continues to say it's also really displays his signature uh, individual guitar style. The best, in my opinion. Okay, Anastasia, I'm ready to see this live performance. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit later, probably late mm -hmm. 90s, maybe. Cowbell. I love the drummer's name. That was really fun.
Okay, Nathan, I don't break any rules by pausing. I just, oh, I, I have to say it because I'm sorry. We know the song, so we, we kind of cheat a little bit because we know the song. I am a, becoming a huge fan of this Lindsay guy. Every time oh, I've yeah. seen him live, I'm just getting blown away by how cool he is. Mm. I think he's like the coolest guy. I'm just getting, like, everyone talks about, of course, Stevie Nicks, and rightfully so. Mm hmm. And I think this whole band has everyone. I think everyone in this band is really cool. Christine, I think it's Christine McVie or something like that, who passed away. Plus, you know, rest, rest in peace. I'm, and of course, Fleetwood. I think it's Mick Fleetwood is the drummer. Anyways, mm. this Lindsey Buckingham guy, I'm digging him. I'm just digging him. His vocal work, his persona, mm. his. He just seems like such a cool cat. And I just, anyways, I just. I I'm love, gonna go, I'm I gonna go back a bit. I'm digging his high vocals, Christy. Thank you, Christina. So, anyways, I just want to say this for the Fleetwood Mac fans out there. Every time I see this guy, he plays when he plays guitar, the souls, like this guy. I, I maybe Fleetwood Mac fans already know this, but we're very new to this band in many ways. We're very new to get to know them as a band. Mm -hmm. We start to get to know their personalities with live performance. That's why I like the live performances. And I just watching him live, he's a true rock and roll star. I'm really liking this guy. I just have to say that. So I'm gonna go back a bit. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
that, my friends, is what you that is at the end of the day, rock and roll. They were firing on all cylinders. Every mm. single member of the band was on top game. Ah, oh, that kind of music, it just doesn't happen all the time, which maybe makes mm. it special. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But see, I almost got the tears, man. I I just love that sound, the beats per minute, the guitar mm-hmm. solo, the bass line, the background, the background vocals, the energy, what the song's about, both Stevie and, and uh, Lindsay looking at each other throughout the song, all that stuff. It's just yeah. like, ah, this is too much. It's crazy. <laughs> the fact that they can perform together with all their history, it just blows my mind. It's just insanity. That's sometimes the secret sauce of, of great music is that there's tension as well you can't have great music without tension you can have relaxing music without tension but you can't have great music without tension my favorite performers favorite bands there's often either tension in the band or the a band member going through stuff and and that actually creates these incredible performances that was amazing on all levels like you say they were firing on all cylinders the combination of everything coming together. I was enthralled with the drummers. Yeah. Mick Fleetwood, I think, isn't it? He? He's just having yeah, a he ball. he was killing it. He was killing it. He's having so much fun. I think he can hear it too. I think he's, okay, we're really killing it here. It's funny when I saw that one, I was like, man, eh, I already know that song. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I know like, the song. I'm coming boy. up on the, on the queue and I'm like, I already know that one. I had no idea that this is what they would be like live. Oh, yeah. I would give like, really, I give my left nut to, to go I back think. in time and yeah, watch and this. Back time, I know. I know. And, and, and be those people in that audience have no idea how lucky they are. No, they know. I they know. I I wouldn't sell them short. I wouldn't sell them short. <laughs> right, you, you, right. I think they knew. They knew. And some venues just call for different types of etiquette. You could tell this was a very it's an intimate venue. So, so I mean, they, at the end, you could tell with the cheer, the pop, and the clap. They knew what they experienced. They knew, but maybe they did, and they didn't. But it's like they were definitely meek, uh, meek. Meekwood, Meekwood, Fleet, Fleet, Fleet. Oh, fuck. yeah, Big Mac, amazing stuff. I want to hear more Fleetwood Mac. We've been blown away by the stuff we've been getting from them, especially the live performances. And Lindsay is so cool. The guy is just mm-hmm. so cool, and I just yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm Mick loving it. It's it's fantastic. Thanks everybody. That was a that was a treat. If you got to join and watch us watch it with us. Thanks everybody. We'll see you on the uh, <laughs> see you in the next one.